Alright, did you get transcoding yet? <laughs> Let me know if I get transcoding. Am I live? Do I get transcoding? Uh, I think I got it, right? I got it. Yeah, we got it. Oh my god, dude. Can't believe I got fucking mosquito bites like right in the beginning. Right in the beginning of this shit. Immediately. First thing. Alright, let me turn my stream on. Boom. Mosquito right in front of me trying to fuck with me already. In the mid in the beginning. Now my legs itchy. Ugh. Trader John's, yeah. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. We're here. Twitch.tv slash John SF. We are at the Knott's Berry Farm, the famous amusement park location located in, um, I forgot the name of this place. It's not Orange County, but maybe it's Orange County, I don't know. But this place is a, it was a farm, a berry farm, converted into an amusement location. They have a lot of rides and stuff that I can't ride. Due to coronavirus, they shut down everything and they were like, how are we going to make money? They decided to turn everything into this kind of food, food, uh, food park, food park. So we're here enjoying the food park. Should be pretty interesting. This is the thing that I got. Right here. Oh, I like these little guns. I like these gun thingies. Is this supposed to shoot something? Ah. Call of Duty. <laughs> Pretty cool. Yo, oh, Buena Park? Yeah, 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 Buena Park. Yo, XO Sig. Mr. B Boy. Sandless Apprentice. Seifu. Uh, Gina. Buy one? I don't want to buy one. That shit's probably expensive and I gotta carry that shit the whole time. I'm down to buy something though to make this a little bit more fun. Like a hat. Like one of those little ear thingies. Damn, they got this big ass one. Call of Duty. What? That's tight. How, how does it work? I don't want to. I don't want to buy it because it's gonna like, it's gonna be annoying to hold. Oh, I can get a. I can get ear, ear muffs. I can get a hat. That's kind of cute. This is for babies. Should I get these Snoopy ear ears? Snoopy ears, or there's like a baby cowboy hat. That's not gonna fit my head, right? How's this trap? Yo, Elvira, what's up? Welcome to the stream. They have a lot of guns and stuff. That's a, that's pretty cool. Snoopy ears? They're not really that cool though, I feel like. Is someone actually talking? I hear somebody. How does my how does my ears look? Snoop John? Can you guys see it? It looks alright. I kind of like it. You so cute with the cap on. All right, maybe I'll buy this. How much is this shit? I like buying these uh, ear things. It's seven dollars. Not too bad. Seven dollars. Who's gonna gift me this? Hmm. Any gifters in the chat? <laughs> There's also a, a girl one with a bow. Let's get some fried chicken. Yo, FM Rock, thank you for the host. Yeah, we're gonna figure out what to eat in a sec. I'm gonna buy this thing though. I thought it's cute. Maybe I should have got a water too. Maybe water is hell expensive here. But we'll see. 
They have a little gun. Orange and green. Oh shit. Yo, Kalatzen, thank you for the 100 bits. I, I wonder why I was so laggy. Okay. I'll wait for these guys. Oh, oh that's okay. <laughs> Two, three, four, five. Kalatzen, thank you for the 100 bits. The Kimbo Flintlocks. I kind of like these. These are kind of cool. I like the color too. Oh, it's got like a, it's got a strap. That's tight. The strap's too small for me though. How does it work? Oh, you can move it. And lock it into place. Okay. And how do you shoot it? Oh, that's kind of lame. That's kind of cool though. If it was a little bit nicer, probably get it. Water's like five dollars. I know, right? She got a fat booty. <laughs> Does she? She got a fat booty. Hello. Can I grab this one, please? Of course. So, if you want, you go ahead and scan the item right. Oh, okay. There you go. And by chance you have a hidden password? I do not know. Uh, card, please. Thank you. You too. Yay, thank you. Thank you for the 100 bits. That paid for one, 100 of this, one dollar of this little hat thingy. <laughs> Are you guys watching a, a video or something? Somebody's talking. Oh, there's a guy out there. It's a real actor. He's got an accent. Glad you came out tonight. That guy's got an accent. What are you gonna get to eat next? Ooh. <sighs> Did we ask? Uh oh. Are we good? 1,000 bit rate? We should be okay. I hope so. Let me go check the bit rate in a second. Uh, so okay, we are here. Oh, they have hella hats. Why did I have to get this one? They have like cowboy hats and shit. Oh. They have scuffed ugly cowboy hats over here. <gasps> I could have got one of these guys. A straw hat, straw cowboy hat. Oh, shit, they're ugly though. I could've got one of these minor helmets. Oh well. Oh well. Sounds like that. How much are these? 20 bucks? I guess so. What is even on fire here? Is this just a box of... It looks like a can, a bottle of some kind. It's kind of like a Molotov. Is it a It's okay, it's just a loud noise. It's okay. Let them through, let them through. Is the battery dead on this guy?
Are we back? Chat. Are we back? Hold on. We're back. I think one of my modems died. Maybe the battery is too low. Uh, so I just I just plugged it in, and then hopefully it'll work with uh, USB. Damn, my fucking thing is itchy. Holy shit. I got bit twice by the same mosquito, probably. Is this modem not plugged in? Connection here is not that good, but let me. One of my modem's battery died. I didn't realize. So let me just charge it for a little bit, and then we'll we'll get it going. Yo, Ooze Brood, what's up? What's up, Ooze Brood? How's it going? Long time no see. Welcome back to the stream. What's up, Ooze Brood? I hope your metal detecting streams are doing well. <laughs> yeah, this this modem died. Fuck. Zero battery. Slow charging, zero battery. Shit. Maybe I could fast charge it with this one. There we go. What's up, Ooze? What's up, everybody? Chillin', bro. Good to see you. Yeah, good to see you, too. Hopefully once this guy gets online, then we'll be a little bit better. My bitrate right now is at 465. It's about a thousand, so the, the connection's pretty bad. John's always prepared, I'm sorry. I didn't know it was dead. 2%. Fast charging, good shit. 2%. We're at 2%. Woo! Wait till this thing boots back on. Okay, anyways. While we're waiting, let me just say welcome everyone to the stream. My name is John SF, IRL streamer based out of Los Angeles, California. We are out here at Knott's Berry Farm. Knott's Berry Farm is an amusement park. It, actually, it's a, it's a farm where they plant berries and they convert it to an amusement park. But because of coronavirus, everything has closed down. Uh, they can't, I can't ride any rides or anything like that, but they did this limited time tasting event. Um, and what this is, is that I can try up to five of any of these items. Enjoy five of your choice on the list. The tasting card must be redeemed during the 2020 knots, blah, blah, blah. There's actually a lot of places I could go to. Oh, did I have food? Oh, wait, no, I didn't have again. Nosberry Farm scuffed place on Earth. Metal detecting has been good, though. Going to find treasure one day. <laughs> when was this a uh, farm for real? It's still a farm. Part of this place, like, so the Nosberry Farm, they, they own acres and acres. They just converted 
part of it because I mean I, I guess having an amusement park is a little bit better than having a farm you can't charge and use it at the same time I can but I'm trying to get like a little bit of percentage first let's charge it up until like you know until my thing detects this all right it's, de it's detecting the IP right now or the, the whatever it's called obtaining IP so it's, it's connecting to it right now let me see if I can try to get it no connectivity It's connecting. Uh, is this th is this food fest what replaces Not Scary Farm this year? Rip. Yes, they announced that they are gonna not do Not Scary Farm this year. So that's one of the things about this place too. That's kind of interesting. They used to do this every year. They do Not Scary Farm, which is pretty cool. Uh, dang, that guy's wearing the same hat as me. Same brand. They do Not Scary Farm which is like you come here in the evening and they have spooky haunted houses and actors and stuff to spook you it's pretty fun actually i like it the boysenberry pie is my fave boysenberry pie huh all right how much do i have on here no devices See if I can get this plugged in. Five percent. Low battery. Please connect to a power supply. Is this thing not charging it? Maybe this cable doesn't work no more. Uh, let me use a different cable. Uh, hold on. You guys know all the lore of this place? The theme park began in 1920s as a roadside berry stand. Growing up, my grandmother took me... I think I need new cables. That's the issue. The cables are the ones that transfer the data and I think my cables are getting scuffed in my backpack so hopefully this will be okay in a sec completed perfect uh, growing up my grandmother took me for a chicken dinner every Sunday damn chicken dinner is it fried chicken the Boysenberry Park is my fave. By the 1940s, a restaurant, several shops, and other attractions had been constructed in the property after attaining growth, including a replica of a ghost town. Maybe we gotta try it. I literally tried to stop by there on my way home to Arizona and bring back a pie. Is it good? Where do I get the pie? Should I try a pie? Maybe we'll try that at the end. They had good biscuits too. I remember them from the chicken dinners. Get a buttered biscuit slather on the berry jam. Ooh, their fried chicken is famous. Ooh, I'm not supposed to eat fried chicken. Oh, it connected. It connected. Finally, we're in there. We're in there. Finally, that shit connected. Okay. Let me put this thing back, make sure it doesn't fall out, and then we'll be on our way. It's my fault though. I didn't charge the, the I didn't charge the modem. My bad. There we go. Wi-Fi is turned off. Why? What the hell? My Wi-Fi turned off. I turned off. Oh! Wait, why did my Wi-Fi turn off? Are we good? No! I did something. I 
fucked it up. I fucked it up. Shit! I fucked it up. Are we okay? You can't eat fried chicken? I mean, I can, but I'm not supposed to. Maybe I should try it, though. How often are you gonna be there? True. It's a cheat day. Nothing in the park is diet friendly. Elvira says, I'm back now. My internet is being a pain lately. Still supporting you. Thank you. My internet is also being a pain. I think I fucked something up. I fucked something up. I have no... I have nothing connected to this. Internet and Wi-Fi. It connected, but now it's... When I put it back, I fucked it up. So, okay. Just a couple more minutes. A couple more minutes. It's gonna reconnect. It's the ears and getting jammed. Do they have turkey leg? I don't know, do they? Should I get a turkey leg? Let's see what we can get while we're here. So, there's a few places. Ghost Town, Wagon Wheel Pizza, Spurs Booth, Boysenberry breaded chicken tender on a waffle with fire honey. That sounds good. Uh, pemmican pick pickle. It's a lemonade. Calico fried co. Tater tots. Topped with a barbecue marinated pulled pork. Chipotle ranch and the shredded cheddar cheese. Tater tots. Topped with the faux barbecue pulled pork jackfruit vegan cheese and sriracha. So there's grill. Shrimp po' boy with shredded lettuce, tomatoes, and chipotle crema. Tater tots topped with blah blah blah. Are, are these different places? Sutter's Grill. Oh, they have different menus at, at all these spots. Sutter's Funnel Cake. Funnel Cake fries with strawberry dipping sauce. Oh, shit. Boysenberry. Point up your ears. <laughs> My connection seems not too bad. It's at 6,000 right now. Yay! All right, it's connecting, it's connecting. Let's keep, let's keep breeding. This guy's got funnel cakes, funnel cakes, more funnel cakes. Strawberry crisp with whipped cream, deep fried boysenberry pie bites. Fisherman's Barbecue, Louisiana style mild pork and beef sausage on a hoagie bun, corn in the cob, boysenberry, blah blah blah. Oh, this is the one you're talking about. Wilderness Broiler, Miss Knott's famous chicken slider with house aioli served with crinkle chips. That's the one you're talking about, right, Gina? Should I go for that one right now? Wilderness Broiler in the ghost town. Crinkle chips with beer, cheese dip, boysenberry, basil, lemonade. Grilled portobello mushroom sandwich with onions. Damn, sounds good. Wilderness dance hall patio, hatch grilled, blah blah blah. Gourmet churro factory. And clubhouse ice cream. Nice. Everyone goes to Knott's for the fried chicken dinner, pies, and berry funnel cake. So I guess those are the three things that I should have to get, right? So, should I just go straight up for the Miss Knott's shit? The Miss Knott's chicken slider? I guess I gotta go for that, right? I gotta go for that first. Chad keeps disconnecting, just me? My chat's okay. Let me just connect to my Wi-Fi. And we should be good. Damn, we streaming at 7,000. Perfect. All right, so the plan, we gotta get uh, the Miss Knots, whatever, whatever. There's the boardwalk, they got the cafe. 
and all some other stuff. Coast dinners, boysenberry breaded chicken tender on waffle and fire honey. I read that already. Boardwalk barbecue booth. And Fiesta Village, they have Mexican food. Oh, uh, Anstradama said I should get the, the fries. He said the carnitas fries is pretty good. And they got shrimp po' boy too. Damn, sounds good. Never had the fried chicken slider. Is it as good as the fried chicken dinner? Well, Gina said something about Miss Knott's. It's famous Miss Knott's chicken something something. Maybe this is uh, converted because this taste of Knott's is like enjoy five tastings of your choice on the list on a card. So maybe if I got like a full, you know, chicken dinner, it'd be too much value for the five. Because I can, I can get five for free. That's what this $30 entry comes with. I can get five of these included. So we're going to go grab that right now. And it looks like my date is looking good. My modems are all green. I'm ready to go. If you guys are just joining me right now, my name is John SF, IRL streamer based out of Los Angeles, California. We are out here at Knott's Berry Farm, enjoying their taste of Knott's Berry Farm, taste of Knott's uh, food event. I keep getting messages from all these people. Let me make these guys shut up for a sec. Good to go. Okay. Let's go. And then once we get some food, so the whole point of this is to try five different items at least. I can get five items for free here and on top of eating. So what we're going to do, we're going to eat a bit. Maybe I'll get two items and we'll eat them at the same time, man. And then I'll go walk out somewhere else. Um, I do I do like the environment here. I like this. I like this uh, ghost town type of environment. I should have brought, I should have worn a cowboy hat. I hella should have worn a cowboy hat. I fucked up. Next time I come here, we'll do that. Because I, I, I can come back here. Anstradamus says he's finna come back. So this might be kind of fun. Come back here. Miss Knott's is a restaurant at the front of the park. It's a restaurant. She created the recipe. She also created the pies and I think the jams. So there's a spot called the Wilderness Broiler. So we finna go to the Wilderness Broiler right now and we'll get the chicken. Let's get two items. Two items at the same time. Where's the wilderness broiler? This one's the final cakes. We're finna get that for dessert later. Let me ask this guy. Excuse me, so where's the wilderness broiler? Wilderness broiler, are you familiar with the park? Not really. Not really? Alright. Maybe you can just point me in the direction. Yeah, for sure. Go ahead and pass this building. Make the right. Yeah. And then once you reach the end, make the left, right, left, right. Oh, so it's all the way like on the other side of the yeah, park. Yeah, it's over by, uh, you'll notice it when you see the big red barn. Red barn. It'll be on the left side of the red barn. Gotcha. Bar. Okay, thank you. So we gotta go this way. It's on the other side of the park. Shit. I wanna get something here. <laughs> I gotta go all the way on the other side of the park. <sighs> Funnel cake sounds good. Yeah, funnel cake sounds good. We'll get it for dinner though. We can't we can't just start off with the funnel cake. And don't forget that I had funnel cake last night. I fucking made that shit. So okay, he said go right. This part's this place is pretty cool for the um what's it called? The Fright Fest. Because this is where they have all the the smoke and stuff and all the spooky people are like, woo! Whoa, blacksmithing? Whoa. Cool. 
Cool. Looks nice, dude. I'm glad I came here towards the evening where it's a little bit cooler and less sun. But I guess we gotta make use of the sunlight while we still got it. Before it gets too dark. Yo, Kenny, what's up? How much were the tickets? They were $33. Well, they were $30 and then after tax. So, $33. But you get five items to eat. So, I think that's a pretty good deal. Right? Five's kind of a lot. I went there on Halloween. They themed the park pretty nicely. Hell yeah. Yeah, I've been here many times on Halloween. They have a lot of, like, haunted... Haunted spots. Okay, so this is Fre Freeman's Brigade. I guess we're almost on the way, right? Undertaker, Boot Hill Undertaker. Ooh, let's take a look. Ooh, it's a cow fin. It's a cow fin. Oh, there's a dead guy in there. Oh, what? How do you do that? Wait, what? He's changing. He's changing. Look at that. He turns into a skeleton. How did they do that? Spooky. Witchcraft. What is this witchcraft? <laughs> what time do they close? They close at 9. 9 p.m. So we have about three hours to get as much food as we can get. That's kind of a lot of eating. I should have went here a little bit earlier. Ooh, I like these hats. I got a lot of hats. I should have went here a little bit earlier. Uh, oh, there it is. I see it. Wilderness Dance Hall. It's around here somewhere. I guess, right? We're, we're, at, we're trying to go to the Wilderness Broiler. This is the dance hall patio. The Wilderness Dance Hall. Pot kitchen? Ooh. Nice. Where's the Wilderness Broiler? Damn, I might finna go this weekend. Uh... I think going Saturday, Sunday is like the worst times to go because probably there's going to be hella people. I think Saturday is already sold out. I saw on the website when I was buying my ticket for today. Tomorrow's already sold out. But maybe Sunday is alright, I don't know. Alright, the wilderness shit should be around here. Boom! Wilderness Briler right here. Holy shit, there's a fucking long ass line. Oh my god, dude. Are you serious? This is the line? Maybe it goes pretty fast because they probably already made that shit, right? Damn, the line's hella fucking long. All of us here at Knott's Berry Farm, we are glad to have you. Oh my god. Thank you for continuing to wear your face covering and practicing social distancing during your business. You didn't invite me, so I gotta go on the weekend? Uh, my bad. Sally. <laughs> Sally. Holy moly, this line is crazy long. Jeez. Thank you. <sighs> you know how long this is going for? This is going for a few weeks. A few weeks. Pies type one if you like pies. Alright, hopefully this is gonna this won't take too long because by the time I get this, if this shit closes at if this shit closes at fucking uh, at nine, then I'm not gonna be able to use all of my food tickets. Right? Unless I get the shit super fast. Rip VOD. The music? <laughs> is this Colby Calais? This is a cool looking ride. Nice ride. Chicken's famous? Okay, hope, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that the line's not gonna take too long because all they gotta do is just give us the food, right? It's already pre-made, I'm guessing. Yeah? 
You guys like my Snoopy hat? Snoop doo doo. I'll probably go with my kid and cousin so we can get 15 things of food. Damn, that's hella food. <laughs> so they give you, for, the, for you guys who are wondering, um, the cost to get in here is $30. And what they do is they give you one of these guys. And this is the menu of the things that they have. But including with this is that you can choose five of your choice on the list of the card. So you can get five of these. I assume that they're free together with them. People are saying the Miss Miss Knott's Famous Chicken is the best thing to get when you go to Knott's. It's famous, apparently. The name is famous. Do you, do you guys think it's really famous or did they just put that it's famous? To make people want to get that shit. Hmm? And then the other thing is I should get the pie and the funnel cake. And then Anshadamas said I should get the, uh, the carne fries. Actually, he told me that the chicken was really dry. He said the chicken's not that good. That's what he told me. Should go fast. I want to see the serving size. It's probably not that big if they give you five of these guys, right? All right, where are we finna go next after this? Let's think about that. Should we go to Fiesta Village? A Fiesta? He also told me, like, don't buy drinks. Or not don't buy drinks. Don't use this card to get drinks. Only use this card to get food. And then pay actual money for drinks. That's what he told me. But I don't know. I don't know what the strat is. I don't recall him getting the chicken. He didn't like the brisket. Oh, it was the brisket? The brisket wasn't good? I didn't really watch the stream that much, but... I'm finna get the slider. The, the famous chicken slider. Uh, the po' boy sounds pretty good. Wherever the po' boy is. Sutter's Grill. And... I'll get also... Louisiana style pork and beef sausage on a hoagie bun. Sounds good. Um, Alright, I'm gonna get the chicken thing, the po' boy, the carne asada fries, and. Alright, well, well, we'll think about the rest later. Yeah, po' boy is a sandwich. I know what a po' boy is. I got friends from Louisiana. From Dirty Sarah. I had the turkey leg last time. It was a mistake. Too swiney. I don't think that's on this menu. I didn't see anything about a turkey leg. Uh, let's check out the boardwalk. Acai bowls? <laughs> uh, white bean and chicken on jasmine rice. They have Asian food. Coasters Diner, boysenberry breaded chicken tender on a waffle with fire honey. I should get that. Boysenberry breaded chicken? That sounds hella good. Oh, and that, that's the brisket that he was talking about. Boardwalk one. Slow smoked brisket sandwich with barbecue sauce, right? That one's not good, right? Appar according to Anshadamas. But he said the carnitas fries are good. Shrimp salad, shrimp taco. There's a place in Chinatown that has good ass po' boys. I know which one you're talking about. I forgot the name of the place though. I haven't tried it, but I'll tell you my favorite po' boys is Orleans York. You gotta go to Orleans York. They have a few of them. Oh, offline giggles, thank you for the follow. Ooh, why didn't the audio work? Go to this place called Orleans York. They do New York style and... Eh? Why isn't this working? They do New York style and Louisiana style sandwiches. Okay. There's no sound. Oh, Ashadamas, what's up? The sour cream and pico. What up? 
Little Jewel of New Orleans. I gotta try that place. You've been to Orleans before? Not Orleans, Orleans, York. Orleans, York. All right, we're gonna get the, the famous, famous chicken slider. Miss Knott's famous chicken slider. And then I feel like I gotta get a drink. So Ostradamus said don't buy a drink. But this, this, okay chat, should I get the boysenberry beer? Oh, what? They got boysenberry beer, mango cider, that sounds good too. Items are, can be gluten free or vegan. Should I get beer? Hell yeah, dude. They have boysenberry beer. And mango cider. Oh shit, I was gonna get the watermelon lemonade. Buy the drink, don't use the car to get one. Hey, Anshadamas, so I'm here and I was checking the uh, connection and my Verizon connection is the best. I get like, I get like 5,000 bit rate on my Verizon, but my T-Mobile is like kind of shitty. It's like a thousand-ish. And my, and my AT&T is the worst. <laughs> but I'm glad Verizon's working out, dude. Horizon's in the clutch. I want to try the wine they have boysenberry wine. I'm not a huge wine guy. I don't really like wine. That shit gives me a headache. Too much sugar. I'm, I'm for the beer. I'm a beer boy. Yo, Goku, what's up? Servings are smaller. You have to use the cards for drinks. Okay. I gotcha. So, we finna buy... We finna use this thing for the food. And we finna buy our own drinks. But... How much, okay, do you think if I get a beer, it's gonna be smaller than getting a lemonade? A watermelon lemonade? A watermelon lemonade sounds pretty good. T-Mobile was going 1500 bit rate plus it was Sunday, it was still 93. Yeah, the weather's pretty nice right now. It's maybe like 70-ish. Lemonade is regular size, but adult drinks are smaller. Uh-huh. Okay. All right, we're gonna get the chicken slider, and then after that, we're gonna go get the beer. And I'm gonna buy it. And if I want any more, I'm thinking about, oh, that's what it is. That's what it is, chat. It's not as big as I thought. It's not that big. It's like this big, maybe. Big as my hand. It's maybe about this big. Yo, replacement, what's up? I wish Knott's was open. It is! Your wish came true! I'm your genie in the lamp. Rub me the right way, honey. <laughs> genie in the lamp, genie in the bottle. I'm a genie in the bottle, baby. Where did you buy the tickets? I bought it online. On the internet. www. Something something dot com. To wear your face covering and practicing social distancing during your visit. As a reminder, I'm a pass holder, but it don't work for this. Yeah, you have to pay extra, but you get discounts. I reckon you get discounts. Like, a, if you had a pass, I could have bought this shit for cheaper. For the safety and comfort. Let's go on Ghost Rider. You can't go on any rides. Is this Ghost Rider? Look into my eyes. You might need to scroll right or left if it's not the first thing that comes up or it passes. It's on the home page! www.knotsberryfarm.net.fr.gov .meatspin <laughs> Oh nice, they have voiceover dude. Oh, you're talking about the guy that talks? Welcome to Knott's Berry Farm. For your safety and the safety of our employees, we are abiding by the CDC guidelines along with state and federal something something. Please keep your mask on at all times. Children under 12, put a mask on them too. Uh. 
I sold this game for 27. That's something I didn't expect to hear. Amusement park ride safety voice telling you to wear a mask in social distance. I need a like a, a Mickey voice. Oh -ho! Welcome to Not Very Farm. Oh -ho! For your safety and the safety of our covers, <laughs> please wear a mask. I was eating two meals a day there when it opened, mostly Panda Express. God damn! Snoopy or Charlie Brown? Snoopy or Charlie or... I can't do a Charlie Brown impression. And there is no Snoopy impression, right? It's just like... Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> All the kids are ninjas masks to keep the mask on. <laughs> Ninja mask. Do the Woodstock dance? What's the oh? That dance? Da -na -na -da -na 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 -na. What are you in line for right now? I'm in line for the famous Mrs. Knott's famous chicken slider with horse aioli served with crinkle chips. Dude, if you... If anyone get time over this weekend, watch the War with Grandpa movie. I can't stop laughing my ass off. War with Grandpa movie. All right, I'll put a link in the Discord. I'll watch it. There are multiple stations that serve the same stuff, so you can find spots with shorter lines. No, this is the only one that has this one. I mean, there are multiple spots with the same stuff, like water lemonade and like the the Louisiana style hot dog or whatever, but this is the only place that has this one. As far as I can see on the menu, maybe there's like some secret places that I don't know, but this is the only one that I found that has this shit. And then we're gonna go get a beer after this too. I'm finna get a beer. Burp, burp, burp. How was the seafood you had last time? It was I. Right. Honestly, I only like that place because of the location. If I were to get anything like that, I would rather get boiling crab. Boiling crab is way like more tasty than that place, but just the experience is kind of fun. Uma Thurman, kids there, fun. It's grandpa, he's like, fuck all this. Boysenberry basil lemonade? That sounds fucking good. Alright, I'm gonna grab a beer though. I heard boiling crab is famous. Yeah, it's really good. Don't get it, it's bitter. Okay. Does Knott's have a secret club like Disney does? I don't know, maybe I can ask them. But why would they need a secret club? Because Disneyland, they don't serve beer, so that's why you need to get into the secret club to get some beer. It's called Knott's Fairy Farm. <laughs> Yo, McNugget Chicken, welcome to the stream. I paid $7 for that lemonade and it was not great at all. Oh, kicking crab is better, is it really? Interesting. Hi. Hi. So I want to use one of these. Go ahead and stand the other side, the bigger bar. This one, okay. I'm trying to get the, the famous chicken slider. Yay. Yes. And where can I get a beer? Is that on the other side? Other side? Gotcha. Thank you. Okay. Do they have any, like, Knott's Secret Club, like Disneyland does? Or no? No. Don't they don't have that thing here? Ah, oh, okay. Gotcha. Thank you. God damn it. She said they don't get it. Thank God. 
Excuse me. Do I need a tray? Is that what that is? This is famous, apparently. Famous. There used to be a Knott's Berry Farm inside the Mall of America when I was a kid. Now it's Nickelodeon Land. There's a Nickelodeon Land? Man. They're not going to tell you it's a secret? How am I going to know? I'm trying to find out. Yeah, I got the one uh, slider. Thank you. What is that sauce? Is that cheese? That's the cheese sauce. Oh, it does, this doesn't come with that? I'm sorry? This doesn't come with that? No. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, okay. Gotcha. Thank you. Uh, Ostradama says, carnitas, fries, chicken slider, apple pie bites, mac and cheese, brisket sandwich, or mac and cheese. Uh huh. <laughs> Look at this shit, dude. That's that's the size of that shit. It's tiny. That shit is tiny. I mean, it is a slider. This is the famous chicken. Maybe this won't give me a good impression of what the actual chicken, fried chicken is, but this is pretty tiny. I'm trying to get a beer though. Let me grab a beer. That shit lacking? Yeah, dude. <laughs> Scam, dude. This is famous, apparently. Famous. That needs a cute pie mayo. Famous for high profit margins. Alright, let me get a beer. Do I have to be in like a specific area to enjoy the beer? Or can I just go out and get the beer somewhere? Uh, I think I gotta go here, right? Is this where the beer is at? So. So I should buy the beer, Ashradama says, right? Should I go this way? Wrong way? One way, that way, okay. Dude, I don't have enough hands. Let me, let me put you guys on my shoulder real quick. I don't have enough hands to hold all this shit. Famous for being small. If you want a full size, buy it. Okay, I'll buy it. I'm gonna buy it. Let me get a beer. All right, shoulder mount. I don't have enough hands. How much is the, $12 for fucking beer? Holy shit. Oh, is there a line too? Oh fuck. How big is this line? From all of us here at Knott's Berry Farm, we are planning to right, it's not that big. for a taste of Knott's. Thank you for continuing to wear your I reckon I could eat some of this right now. Eat some of this. This is like flavorless kettle chips. No taste. I mean, it's just whack. No taste. No seasoning and nothing. No MSG. Stale. <laughs> Buy a beer back in Cape Town. You need dill pickle flavor? That would be good. Mmm. <clears throat> Yeah, $12 is kind of expensive, but I'll get it, whatever. I'll get the boysenberry beer. Maybe it's good. Maybe it's better than these chips. If you would have invited me, I would have brought you all the beer you can drink. Oh shit, I didn't think about that. I would have had a funny friend here too. <laughs> I would have had a funny friend as company as well. Much more valuable. Yeah, we could have had a date. 
You wanna have work today or something? The boysenberry margarita is good. Oh. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of margaritas either. I mean, they're okay. They're better than micheladas. They're hella better than micheladas. Got type one if you're a if you're a michelada guy, or type two if you're a if you're a margarita guy. Our margaritas way better than micheladas, right? If you had told me a couple days in advance, I would have been able to make it out. Oh, my bad. I wasn't sure if I wanted to come here, to be honest. I wasn't 100% sure yet. Where's that music coming from? I hear some music. I'm a big booty guy. I'm a big booty hoe. I'm Nick Cannon, hilarious. <laughs> Wildin' out. Sit back, relax, we're all right. <laughs> Michelada for breakfast, margarita for lunch. Ew, for breakfast? What do you have for dinner then? You haven't had a good Michelada when bars open up, I'll take you to a spot. Alright, I'm down. It better be good though. If it ain't good, you know, I'm gonna ban you. EDD paying for the booze. <laughs> I did a lot of Postmates. What's up, controllers? And what's up, invalid? What's up, yak fork? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Coconut cream pie, controllers? And six bloody Ola, Jimmy Opa Ola. Is the chicken good? I haven't tried it yet. I'm just eating the chips. I'm gonna get the boysenberry beer. <clears throat> Is that the boysenberry beer? The one that that lady got? Hey. Yo, Slipstream, what up? Can you double jip if you're on EDD? What does that mean? What do you mean double dip? Like double dip my food? Twelve dollars gets you fifteen PBRs. <laughs> you guys ain't wrong. Hi, can I get the boysenberry beer, please? Oh uh, yeah. Shoot. Here you go. And this one you lower the mask real quick. Oh yeah. Alright, and then is this your ID? Yes. And are you over the age of 21? Of course. Yeah. Thank you. And are you going to be purchasing it or using the face mask? What was that? Oh, I'll, I'll buy it, yeah, with some money. Cash or card? Uh, card, please. I can have my next. Ooh, don't look at my ID. Uh, there we go. How much is the beer? Approved. Thank you. Twelve ninety three. Dang, I ain't got no pants. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, macaroni. They got macaroni here. Ooh. Hi. Hello. I just had the boysenberry beer. Okay, so did you want the wheat or the red ale? Uh, wheat. Wheat? Do you want your receipt back? No, it's fine. Red ale. Huh? That's an interesting question. I didn't expect to be presented with such a choice. She was like a NPC that that like just came in front of me on my journey. This or that. Thank you. I reckon I could have got the same amount. Are you sure, Amsterdamus, that I should have bought this shit? This shit is twelve dollars. I could have used my credit. I don't know about this. 
Okay, let's let's sit down at one of these barrel tables. Right yeah. Oh shit. It's really small. Uh-huh. Alright. I'm getting attracted by the music over there. Boom, 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 boom. The Mexican in my blood is getting activated. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Everyone acts like we're not at an amusement park. It'd be true. Let me just put my backpack down. It's annoying to hold this. What's up everyone? Welcome to the stream. So, this is our first meal of the day. First item, the Knott's Berry Farm famous Miss Notch Chicken Slider. I can show you how big it is compared to my, my hand. It's that big. Compared to my, my phone, this, this large, this is a Galaxy S10. It's, it's not really that big. But supposedly it's famous. And I also got boysenberry beer to start off the day. Let's take a sip. Cheers. To all of you in the chat. Thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate it. Ooh. Ooh. That's pretty good. It's fruity. Mm. Boysenberry. That's why I asked to get if you're getting the taste or buying it. Well, I have to scan one, right? Or I have to pay for it, so. But I feel like she didn't even look at she didn't even look at the thing. She didn't even look at it. Why does it look so dry? It does look kind of dry. So Cheech Marin is in the movie with Christopher blah blah blah. Okay. This is a slider with famous Knott's lady, Miss, Miss, the MILF, Knott's MILF, famous chicken sandwich. Here we go. Cheers. Not bad. Not bad. <clears throat> it's like too small to be like dry or not dry. It's not like a juicy thing. There's not even that much meat. I do like the pickles with it and there's some aioli on it. The bread is kind of dry. I mean it's just like, you know, whatever, whatever this bread is. Not sweet or anything like that. I think there's nothing special with this shit. Maybe this chicken is not really, you know. It's not a good representation of what the famous chicken is. I think I, at this point I would rather have Popeyes or even Jollibee, <laughs> but it's not bad. Chicken nugget in general. <laughs> Does not milk have an IG? <laughs> Maybe. You already know Jollibee got the best chicken sandwiches, man? I think Popeyes is better than Jollibee in terms of chicken sandwich, but... Jollibee is pretty good. <clears throat> I trust John's taste buds because he's Mexican like me. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of, I mean, it's whatever. This is whatever. I think I gotta try the real one, though. There's way less people today than when I went. Yeah, it's a Friday. People got work today. 
I reckon there's gonna be a lot of people tomorrow. Oh, my brother's betting it, and all of those are unlucky. What's on your hat? I got Snoopy ears. You have four more items, so it'll be pretty full and it's a full component. Yeah. So, I mean, I think it's okay that it's small. Because I can get five things. So, it's not like a big deal. But, I just think the taste was like, whatever. I totally would have rather had um, Popeyes than this, but I think I gotta try the real wings and the real like breasts and stuff. I gotta try Miss Knott's famous breasts. It's probably more delicious than this. It's gonna fit your diet. I didn't eat anything today. I literally came here on an empty stomach. I didn't eat anything today. Except water. All right, Andrew Dominus, have a good time stream, bro. I gotta get my stream up and gonna get food. Thanks for coming by, Andrew Dominus. Be safe. Hey, can, let me get a, let me give a shout out to Andrew Dominus. I think Ashradamus is a IRL, newer IRL streamer, I guess. I just found him recently. Maybe he's a old school, I don't know. But anyways, check him out, he's gonna stream. Shout out. Uh, how do I do this? I'll give you a shout out. Ash, and, is that an A? And, Astra, oh all right, Warcraft did it. Hey, thank you Warcraft, I appreciate it. Both of my mods did it. Good shit. He's old school? Oh, really? I didn't know that. Ostradamus is old school. Then I'm the I'm the, the new scrub then. <laughs> old school, huh? I thought I thought he was new. I'm just a nobody. <laughs> Hey man, you are somebody to someone, and that's what's the difference, you know. You won't. Your mom would never say that. Your milf would never say you're nobody. You're somebody to someone. You're somebody to me. You know that. One day you'll amount to be the greatest you can be, and realize the most, you know the best actualization of yourself. That day can start t tomorrow. Or even today. Who knows, whatever. Maybe the, the biggest mo mogul of Twitch IRL streaming is, is lurking in my chat right now. I said, give this guy a shout out. So that, that guy's gonna follow him and boom, he's gonna be like, Anstradamus is the best IRL streamer I've ever seen in my life. Sign this guy, $69 million contract with Virgin, Virgin Megastore or some shit. Anyways. <laughs> Take it easy, have a good one. What are we eating next? Uh, I'm trying to get, I think I'm gonna get the uh, po boy. Which is Sh Sutter's Grill. Let's go look for Sutter's Grill. Jake and Bake was a no sleep viewer before becoming a streamer himself. You know that origin story? <clears throat> I'm sure Jake and Bake watched a lot of stuff because he knows a lot about StarCraft. And back then, uh, StarCraft was like, back then StarCraft was the, the thing, you know? Hold my mask. Hold my, hold my nose. Look, 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 look. Too many people. Too many people. So I feel like if you know about StarCraft, you're an OG in my book. Oh, 
Jake and Bake sucks, white people offend me. <laughs> Jake and Bake sucks. Uh, okay, where can I find... What is this thing called? The something grill? A Sutter grill or whatever? Yeah, Sutter's grill. Let me ask somebody if they know where Sutter's grill is. Ooh. I spilled beer on myself. No big deal. Wow, look at that. Wow. That's pretty. Oh, wait. Let me ask a staff where Sutter's Grill is. <sighs> I spilled to a dollar. I, I just spilled a little bit on my hand. That's not too bad. I was trying to adjust the camera. Fudge packing store? Oh shit, yeah, Calico? I can buy some candy? This is ice cream? Oh shit, yeah. Oh, there's a, there's a show! There's a show! What are they doing? Do they got a monkey? What's going on? Just like that, we're gonna take the other one. What? Like so. what, what are they doing? Off, because inside is one thing and one thing only. A piece of paper. What is he Something doing? Happened. Well before this whole thing even started. Let's see what it says. What does it say? It reads. Dear Kobe, I made it to Atlantis. It was only a, uh, a 314,550 mile ride. I finally found that beer cake. Can't wait to start my new job as a bank robber. See you soon, Ace. Ladies and gentlemen, that is absolutely impossible. I better get over to that telegraph office and send this before nightfall. You've been absolutely amazing. Enjoy the rest of your night here at the Taste of Nuts. Thank you so much. show that's the best trick I've seen in my life fantastic all right where, where are those where's the fucking uh, what is this calico drinks is this a drink what is this I'm trying to I'm trying to find a grill soda grill Sutter is right? Uh, is it? Did I go the right way? <laughs> Where's the staff? Is it? Get more beer and watch the show. The show already ended. That's the bar. That's where I go to get drunk. Uh huh. So where is the Sutter Grill? Oh, is that it? I think that's it. Sutter's Fine Family Store. I think that's what it says. Yeah. Over there. Ooh, hey girls. Damn, okay. Okay, they, they got matching dress and hat. Oh, they're like, they're inverted with each other. Her pants are matching her hair. And her dress is matching her hair. Yin Yang. The Yin Yang Twins. Hey, little mama, let me whisper in your ear. Tell me something you might like to hear. Is this the Sutter's Grill? I think this one, it's this one, maybe. This is the only positive thing about COVID shit is that I can drink on the street now. Yeah, true. Uh, so is this the one? I think this is the one, maybe. Let me ask this guy. <laughs> Excuse me, is this the Sutter Grill? Yeah, this is Sutter's Grill. Okay, cool. Thank you. I'm trying to get the pole boy. We're gonna get the pole boy trap. All 
All right, chat. The next one we're gonna get is the Po Boy something something. There's an actor on top of there. He's talking, talking shit. He's talking shit about people down there. He's like, hey, hello. Oh. All right, we're about to be next. It says Sutter's on top. It's different though. It says Sutter's Fine Family Fair. It doesn't say Sutter's Grill. Who knows? There might be more things that are called Sutter over here. Yeah, name. This is like in the beginning of the place too. The the the, the front entrance. Thank you. Hello. Can I get a po' boy, please? Yeah. Yes. Does you want everything on it? Yes, please. Shrimp po' oh boy. Do they got some spicy sauce? Louisiana spicy sauce? He says, hey, little mama. <laughs> you guys, do you have a, like a hot sauce? Hot sauce? Yeah. Uh, sriracha. Oh, really? Uh, it's okay, never mind. Thank okay. you. Sorry about that. No worries. Ooh. Ooh, this is the shrimp po boy. This is definitely a, the poest boy <laughs> I've ever seen. <laughs> this is the poest po boy I've seen. Excuse me. All right, let's find a bench so we can enjoy this po' boy right there. Oh, are we underneath some kind of famous ride? I don't know what this ride is called. It looks nice though. There's a lot of part. Oh shit, let's go over there. There's no one over there, I think. <sighs> Sriracha would have been good. I want Louisiana style hot sauce. You know what I'm talking about? The, that Louisiana hot chicken type of sauce. That's the one that they serve at uh, whatever that place is called. Um, Roscoe's. I feel alone. <laughs> I feel so lonely. I'm the only one in this area. <laughs> Let's just sit at the table adjacent to those that couple right there and just like, oh, they're not a couple. It's a it's a mom and a it's a girl and her mom. It's a milf and a G milf. Never mind. <sighs> Maybe I can get lucky tonight with the milf and the G milf combo. You need some Louisiana sauce, sriracha wouldn't go right with it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Come to Knott's Food Fest, we promise you more bread than anything else. I like this picnic table. All right, chat. Round number two. This is the shrimp po' boy from Sutter's Grill, or whatever it's called. The bread is not even toasted, but I mean, it's all right, I guess. Got some kind of weird sauce on it. It's kind of cold. <laughs> it's a little cold. Cheers. Mm. This is basically like a scuffed shrimp taco but on a hot dog bun this is a scuffed shrimp taco on a hot dog bun with no salsa Man, this, is, this is not really that good this is a you know
I don't have any napkins. Do we have a scam food counter? I already got scammed three times already. <laughs> the beer and then the, 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 the slider. Uh, they didn't give me any napkins either. I should have asked. But, I'll eat it. I didn't wash my hands, no. It looks hella good, it's, it's not that good. I didn't wash my hands. He expected amusement park food to be freshly cooked. <laughs> Maybe not freshly cooked, but like more cooked than what this is. At least toast the bread. You, uh, Prince Ghost Stugel says, OMG, you look like Martina, Mar Martina Big? Who's Martina Big? I don't know who that is. I'm guessing Martina Big is a very handsome guy then. You essentially paid five bucks for every item plus tax, that's true. Would you think this is worth five dollars though? <clears throat> I don't know if this is worth five dollars. Mm. I would pay Maybe two dollars for this. Maybe my my uh, me comparing this to other stuff is too too difficult, right? Because uh, the way I'm thinking of it is like you can get two tacos at Jack in the Box that are way more delicious than this individually for one dollar or so, one something. <laughs> but I mean, it's it's alright. It's alright. If you like, if you like hot dog bun, and I don't even know what kind of sauce this is, but this is what I call a po boy, legit po boy, not under your lip. I have glizz on my face. If it's good, then yes, judging from your reaction about Tree Fitty. You'd spend Tree Fitty for this? <laughs> I'm here to listen to John bitch about everything. <laughs> All right, let, let's, let's, okay, the next one. Let's get the fucking, um, the thing that um, Anshadama says is good. The fries. He says the fries are pretty good. And I kind of want to try the brisket, but I remember he said the brisket's not good. But I just kind of want to get it anyway. Yeah, it's a hot dog. It's, it's, it's a shrimp taco. It's a fried shrimp taco on a hot dog bun. Instead of the taco. Oh, it's at the carne asada fries. Yeah, I'm finna get the... Yeah, carnitas fries. I'm finna get the carnitas fries. Let's go grab the carnitas fries. I'm sorry for the mess that I made, whoever's gonna sit here next. But I don't have any napkins. So... You guys are just gonna have to deal with it. Let me toss this in the trash. <clears throat> And I, I reckon I need another drink. I kind of want to get the watermelon lemonade. It's boysenberry beer. That's pretty good. All right. Cheers. Bottoms up. Oh, this is this ride is called the Silver Bullet. Silver Bullet. <clears throat> There's some other rides there too. That one's the famous one, the one that looks like a giant erect wiener. That one that just points up with the flag on the top. <clears throat> That's the Knott's Berry Wiener Tower. I don't know the real name, but 
I think that's good enough of a name, right? Yo, Goof Guy, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for the host. It'll be a p piece of pork belly on top of a fry. <laughs> you only get one fry. <laughs> Billy from upstairs, what's up? They have good funnel cake. All right, we're gonna get we're gonna get the the dinner shit or the the dessert stuff later. The like the funnel cake and all that other shit. We'll get that later in a bit. It's right here. <clears throat> so in order to get the carne carnitas fries, <clears throat> we have to kind of navigate through this area. But I think that... Hi! <laughs> you guys look waving. <clears throat> uh, we have to navigate through this area. But, in order for us to find the location, I think all we have to do is listen to the Mexican music. Once we hear the Mexican music get louder, that's how we know we're going in the right direction. We gotta, we gotta keep an ear out for the Mexican music. Sure? What's up my man, nice ears, thank you. What's a funnel cake? I made a funnel cake last night. It's like a scuffed donut. Is there another show? Somebody sang something. Where's the Mexican music? I'm trying to hear the horns. Ooh, it's like a train. Wow, it looks pretty right now. All the lights are on. Oh, shit. Who's that right there? Oh, that guy's talking. Hi. What's your name? What? There's an actor. Oh, there's another thing over there. Whoa. Whoa, is this a real train, dude? Can you ride this shit later? That's tight! What? That's crazy. What? This ride looks tight too, whatever this ride is. God damn. They got all the water running. <laughs> no one's riding the rides, but they got the water running. What a waste. Crazy Kirk and the Hillbillies? I'm gonna have intercourse with my sister. <clears throat> Did I pass it? Uh, it's behind me now? Oh, okay. Where the mama seat is at? You can when the park is actually running. There are robbers on it. Oh, interesting. Okay. Gina says I passed it. I'm trying to find the, the Mexican village, which is called the Fiesta Village. Let me ask a staff member. Dude, I've been getting bit by my, it was a mistake to wear shorts today. I've been getting fucked up by mosquitoes the, the, as soon as I entered this place. Can I ask you a question, sir? Where is the Fiesta Village? If you go under this little tunnel right here, uh -huh. you just go straight back, it'll be in that area right there. This direction? Yep, straight under the tunnel. Gotcha, thank you. Yes, Alright, he said that way. <laughs> Why did God decide to eat Black Panther's actor Chadwick Boseman dies at 43 after four year long fight with colon cancer? What? The guy from Black Panther died? Damn! Damn, that's sad. Shoot. That's a... That's a hard bullet to swallow. Silver bullet. Damn, rest in peace to that guy. I actually never seen Black Panther. So 
I don't know who you're talking about, but rest in peace, whoever that is. <clears throat> Colon cancer. Shit. Sucks. Colon. All right, let, let's keep it positive. Let's keep it positive. Wakanda! In whatever movie that guy was in. Life is short. That doesn't sound pleasant. Yeah, colon cancer. Wakanda. Am I going the right way? This way? Damn, dude, look at all that water. <laughs> Squirting it. Shit. Oh, we gotta walk towards the penis. The erect building. <clears throat> oh, I hear the Mexican music. Perfect. We're going in the right direction. Fiesta Village. Ooh! They got, they got some Braros. Perfect. It looks like a mission. This is the, this is the spot. How many more items can you get? I can get three more items. There's a lot of different Mexican music going on. Oh, okay, we gotta go to... We gotta go to La Papa Loca. La Papa Loca. Where's that at? Damn, it smells spicy. I can smell the, the jalapeno. <laughs> Yeah, they got a DJ? joking about the jalapeno smell but I can hella smell jalapenos. I'm not even joking. It's not a joke. I can hella smell it. Like it's in the air. It smells not like cooked jalapenos, like raw jalapeno smell. It smells good. Do they have jalapenos in the farm? I can hell smell it. it smells like I, I'm afraid to like breathe in deeply. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't breathe that deeply, but it hell smells like like jalapenos. Raw jalapenos. All right, this is the one that we gotta go to. <laughs> Take a picture. Ooh, I'm gonna post this on Instagram. It hell smells like jalapenos. I'm gonna ask this guy. Do they grow jalapenos here? Or something? I can smell jalapeno. Can you smell it too? Yeah, right? It's in the air. It's really strong. Oh, it's in the restaurants? Yeah, yeah. I thought, I, was, I just thought it was weird that I smelled jalapeno. Maybe I thought that they grow it or something. Yeah. Oh, okay. I gotcha. Thank you. Sangar 
has an easy job. <laughs> she has to deal with dumbasses like me. I like the music though. But what I don't like is that they have different music going on. So this place has like some romantic guitar shit, which I like. And that place has some like... I don't know what to call that type kind of music. Shabbata or whatever. <laughs> I don't know what that is. But anyways, they're different music and they're playing at the same time. So you gotta choose one, man. What, what's the... What type of vibe are you trying to make over here? Huh? Yeah, the restaurant's right here. La Papa Loca. Which is Spanish for the Papa Loca. The Papa Loca. You, for, for those of you who don't hablo espanol, <laughs> that means the Papa Loca. <laughs> uh, they need more trap music. I thought you already ate. Yeah, I got. I have. I have five things that I could eat. The only thing to do here is to eat. This is a tasting food event because all the rides and stuff are turned off. You can't ride any of the rides. Is this a ride? This is not a ride, is it, right? Do you have to climb the, the ladder to go all the way up there? I don't even know what this is for. It looks kind of cool though. I like to knowledge, but I prefer trap music. Show us what's good to eat. Yeah, I heard Anstradamus was here last week and he said that this place is really good. So we're gonna try this one. So we're gonna get the carnitas fries. And then I, I wanna get a drink too. I don't know where to get a drink at. I'm gonna ask him. Is there a limit? Yeah, there's five items that I can get on this whole, whole menu. I can get five items for free. I mean, I can get more if I wanted to, but I have to pay for it. I already paid $12 for a beer. <clears throat> Where are we? We're at Knott's Berry Farm. Knott's Berry Farm is a farm that was built by the Knott's family for berries. I don't know why I decided to do berries. And then they converted part of it in the 1920s to an amusement park. To which is this that has been closed down due to coronavirus. And now we're having this event where we can eat delicious carnival foods and our amusement park foods. Supreme skiing, that's all right. Is it free entry? No, it's $30. But it comes with five, five foods at any one of these spots. I wonder if they serve these foods normally. So you can see it says taste of not. Even if I was like riding the rides and shit here, I don't think I would eat at these places. Seems kind of sketch. But you get five items for 30 bucks. Not too bad. Is the parking free? Yeah, the parking's free today. Usually the parking is not free. It's usually like $18 or something. It's kind of expensive. But I guess they need some way to get people to come over here. Oh, here we go. Hi, can I have a carnitas fries, please? Thank you. Was that? Was everything on it? Yes, everything on it, please. Do you have hot sauce? Do you have tapatio? Yes, please. Let me get that. Tapatio. What was that? Uh, no, it's fine. But is there is there anywhere I can get a drink? Yeah. Oh, uh, wait, did you say water cup? Uh, what kind of drinks do you have? Uh, we have Coke, Diet Coke, Do you have the, the watermelon lemonade? Uh, no. Is there, is there any, like, type of nice lemonade around here <laughs> in this place? Uh, no, the only specialty, like, water would be the agua fresca with the uh, Oh. Where do I get that? Over there? Yeah, over there in a little bit. Gotcha. Okay, thank you. Aguas fresca with boysenberry. Ooh. How many foods did you already eat? I already ate two things. 
so I can get three more. Oh, this is the third one actually. Thank you. Can I have some napkins, please? Gotcha, thank you. John, is she cute? Is she right? I think she's cute. Cute enough. <laughs> she right. All right, this is the this is the carnitas fries. This is the this is the shit that Ashwajamas is like talking about. Uh, let me get a drink too. Where can I get a drink? This is it. Uh, oh, you know what I haven't been doing? I haven't been taking pictures of the food. This is it, this is it. Let me get a drink here. Get another beer. Uh, I just want to grab one of these guys. If I want to get a beer, I have to leave this area, I think. I don't think another place has beer. But I can grab a drink from here. Hopefully it's not too expensive. Maybe like seven bucks, I hope, at most. This place for napkins. Yo, silly star, thank you for the follow. Ooh. Let me put you guys on my shoulder. Hi, uh, can I just get one Agus Fresca, please? Uh, I'll pay. Yeah. Seven bucks. So the, the tip that Anshadamas told me is to not use my card for drinks and to just pay for drinks. So I already got a $12 beer. So I'm hoping that I'm saving money this way. Hi, I just got one Agus Frescas. Thank you. That's expensive water. <laughs> I kind of wanted to get the watermelon uh, juice. She didn't even check my shit. I could have just been like, hey, I got the Agus Frescas juice and I got the macaroni. <laughs> I should have done that. Arroz con leche, rice pudding. I should have, not macaroni, but arroz con leche. She didn't even check. It's too loud over there. Not for good fun. Where, is it bright over here? Okay, not too bad. There's no light. Maybe here? There we go. That's expensive? Yeah, I already spent like... I already spent $20. Oh, I didn't get the napkins! Shit, you guys were all telling me to get napkins and I forgot. Oh well. I'll get it after this. I hope the lighting is okay. It's a little bit dark over here. Ah. Yeah, I got two more items to go. One of them is for sure going to be um, like a pie or like a funnel cake. And then I have to decide what the last, the fourth to last one would be. Maybe I'm gonna get like um, the brisket that Ashwajama said wasn't really good. Maybe I'll go get the brisket. I have about an hour left after this, before this place closes down. The light's okay? Okay, good. 
Alright, this is the carnitas fries. I think I kind of need, like, a fork. Right? I need a fork and fries. Let's go. Let's come back. Let's get a fork and some napkins. Hold on. I need a fork and napkins. Oh, there are napkins right here. Oh, and there's like a sink here. Nice. I can wash my hands after. Oh, what the hell? Futuristic? What the fuck? <laughs> That's tight. All right, here we go. Futuristic fork dispenser. What the fuck? <laughs> Rip Chadwick Boozman. Oh no, Chadwick Boozman. <sighs> Yay! This music reminds me of Korea. This is like, this is the music that they play at Korean clubs and bars. Very generic party music. We got napkins. And we got this. Here's the carnitas fries. And this is the boysenberry aguas frescas. Cheers. Not bad. Definitely just water with some boysenberry. <laughs> I think I would have been better off with the watermelon lemonade, but you know, it's okay. They grow that shit here. <laughs> Definitely kind of watery. Yo, Oz Kelly, what's up? Fuck cancer? Yeah, hashtag fuck cancer. Happy Friday. Please describe taste. What's the best way to describe this? Wait, let me try again. <laughs> let me try some more. Hold on. What's the best way to describe the flavor? This tastes like the breakfast burrito at McDonald's, but without eggs and the french fries from McDonald's. So if you were to ever go to McDonald's, you get the breakfast burrito, put it on top of the french fries, <laughs> get a large french fries, and then add the salsa to it. That's exactly what this should taste like without the eggs. That's what it tastes like. And you know the breakfast burrito is like two dollars. This is just whatever. I mean, I like the salsa. The salsa is actually pretty good. The salsa that they put on here. But the meat is kind of generic. The meat is like carnitas pork, right? But, you know. It's it's like they it's like government pork. <laughs> it's like they you know they of course this is an amusement park they made it for thousands of people. Mm 
honestly, the thing that's carrying this, the thing that's carrying this is the salsa. The fries are okay. They're like better than McDonald's fries. They're more like, like Carl's Jr. fries. <laughs> yeah, that's what it tastes like. You guys are waiting for the complaint. <laughs> I had to, I had to think of a really good complaint. <laughs> Gotta get the berry punch. Is that good? Is that a live DJ or is it a music pre-recorded mix? There's a live DJ there, but I don't know if his mix is pre-recorded or not. $30. <laughs> what a disappointment, and I'm definitely not going to not Steaks, John. Dude, I, I'm saving you guys money, dude. You guys could give me the money. I mean, it's like, the food is okay. Don't expect the food to be better than the food outside of Knox Berry Farms, but the food doesn't taste bad. Let me put it that way. I can definitely eat this food. <sighs> but there has to be a gun pointed to my head. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. The, the food is definitely okay. If I had to, you know, settle for some shit that I really didn't want to settle for, this this is this is basically what it is. I feel sorry for you, you paid twenty dollars over for that. I did eat a lot though. Finesse the fuck out of this guy. Ooh, is that Salinas? Is that Salinas? I like Salinas. I mean, the food is the food is okay. It's not bad. It's eatable. It's eatable. It's not the worst food that I've ever had. But like the place across the street is better than this place probably. The Mexican joint across the street. It's probably way better. Anshadamas was hyping this place up. He was like, yo, get the carnitas fries. It's good. I mean, it's okay. It's just okay. Not as hype as he made it out to be. Knots will remember that. <laughs> They're recording me right now. They're watching the stream. It's eatable, yeah. Not edible. Edible is like, you can literally, you know, chew it and digest it. Eatable is like, I'll eat it. Like, I would, if it was for free at a buffet, I will like digest it. I will, I will put it in my mouth and I will, I will literally eat it. But edible is like, you know, there's many things that are edible, like fucking, like flowers are edible, <laughs> you know? But that doesn't mean it's good. <sighs> when you're under the influence, anything's good? Probably, yeah, maybe. Okay, that's a good point, that's a good point. McNugget, if I were drunk and I were eating, this would make pretty good, like, beer or bar food. If I was eating, if I was drinking at a bar, and I didn't really care about what I ate, but I just wanted to eat something, this would be okay. But it's definitely like, I would not come here for this shit. <sighs> Wasn't someone on chat going to meet you there? I was gonna, I was thinking of meeting Anstradamus, but he said he couldn't meet me today, so I just went by myself. And he went last week too. And Watch Glow too. Watch Glow, he said, He's trying to get Watch Glow to go. Rate the food that you had from best to worst. So far, this is the best. And this is not even that good. The slider was pretty disappointing because I think if only they just toasted the bread and it was a bigger piece of chicken, it would be way better. But it was just like, okay. And then the the worst thing was the fucking shrimp taco on a hot dog bun. That was so far the worst thing, the po' boy. That was so far the worst thing. 
but this one is like, this one's probably the best so far. Yo, AMG Hayes, what's up? Oh, baby, watch glow. Oh, baby, watch glow. Bring Ariel or Cam Girl? Oh, actually, I don't really talk to Cam Girl that much. But I could bring Ariel. I think I'm going to meet her tomorrow, but I don't know if we're going to stream. Ariel and I are going to hang out tomorrow. In a group, not in like a. Not in like a friend. Not in like a date kind of thing. <laughs> complaints, there we go. There's not complaints. I'm, you guys know me, dude. I'm telling you guys the honest truth. I'm a truth spitter. I tell you guys the truth all the time. If something is good, I'll tell you it's fucking good. If it's not good, I'll tell you it's not good. And if it tastes like breakfast burrito on top of french fries, I'll tell you exactly. It tastes like breakfast burrito on top of french fries. How much was the new drink? This was $7. This is boysenberry Aguas Frescas. Which is actually not too bad, but it is definitely like you're paying $7 for water with boysenberry juice. I think if I got this from like a real Mexican place, it would be much bigger. Which like, the taste of this is actually, like I'm not complaining about the taste. I think I'm more complaining about the size of this for $7. But then again, we are understandably in a amusement park. So, it makes sense. True spitter except when someone <laughs> at the restaurant is around. Okay, that, that, that is true, that is true. If it's to my chat, I'll tell you guys the truth. If it's to the chat. But if it's to like a person, if someone, if a waiter, if the lady that I ordered the shit from was to be here, like right here, and she was like, hey, how's everything going? I'll be like, oh yeah, it's good. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. You know, I was complaining about something, so I'm not sure I trust your judgment. That's true. I'm judgmental a little bit, especially when it comes to food. Yo, Michelle Pal, the question is, do we trust your taste? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna convince you guys to trust my taste or anything, but I'm gonna tell you this. You guys should trust my taste. You guys should. Believe me. Believe me. Who's the one out here paying $30 to come here, right? Think about that. <laughs> Complains about the food, proceeds to eat every bite. I told you! I mean, it's not that good, but it's not like, it's not, dis it's not disgusting. I'll eat it. I'll eat it. It's eatable, like I said. What is that clip? Have a piece of boysenberry pie and if you complain then I'll know. I'm down. That'll be like the last thing. I don't know where I can get that though. I didn't see it on the menu here. Let's take a look. You're wearing Snoopy ears and a <laughs> Hawaiian shirt. What's wrong with that? John is like, I wasted money, but I'm not gonna waste any more for us. Yeah, I paid for this shit. If this was gross, I wouldn't eat it. Even if I paid it. It's not gross. It's just not very good. You have time to get the last two items? Yeah. I have one hour left. So I think we can decide what the second to the last one is. And then uh, once we get to the second to the last, and then I think we'll get a dessert, which will probably be the, the pie if I can find it, or the funnel cake. But I feel like the pie is something I should 
I definitely should get if it's available. So far, I have yet to see it. They have a boysenberry margarita? Oh, right. Someone mentioned that earlier. Fuck, I should have got that. They have corn on the cob on Kojita. Oh, is this it? Deep fried boysenberry pie bites with powdered sugar. Hey, um, Gina, is that is that what you're talking about? This one sounds good too. Strawberry rhubarb crisp. You have to buy it at Mrs. Knott's to go up front. It says here, I can get it at the log ride funnel cake. So if I go towards the log ride, I can get it. That's the one, right? The deep fried boysenberry pies with powdered sugar. Loki saying Ashwadamas has terrible taste in food. <laughs> I didn't say he has terrible taste. I just don't agree that this is a hell of good. This is not hell of good. <laughs> There's definitely this is like, dude. If this was, this this is like a shame to like real taquerias that are existing outside of here. If you had to pay more than like three dollars for this shit, it's a shame. This is the food that they serve. At bars. This is bar food. Yo, Zep, did you give up on your diet? I didn't in my mind. <laughs> I didn't give up, but... Obviously, what I'm eating is not like within my diet range. That's that's not the regular pie, but on liked it. So should I get that or should I not get that? I think I'm gonna try that. John thought he was gonna get six dinners for $30, but he ended up getting six baby bitch snacks for $30. You're right. I mean, that's that's still pretty good, I think. That's still like, I would come back. I would still come back here, I think. It's a lot of food, still. I think all this for $30 is still worth it. It's a lot of food. In terms of quantity, it's not like a steal, but I think it's worth it. Maybe I would try different things next time. Those fries are making Taco Bell look like the French Laundry. Probably the Taco Bell fries are better than these fries. And cheaper. Aren't they like $3 or something? Alright. Are you still counting calories? I haven't done it in a while. So, no. But maybe I'll start again after today. The diet will resume tomorrow. <laughs> Famous last words. The classic. I'll diet tomorrow. Right, let me throw this away. And then let's get... I'm thinking I'm gonna get the brisket. So I, I have two more to go.
The Louisiana style mild pork and beef sausage on a hoagie bun sounds gross. Uh, hey, didn't he say the mac and cheese was good? Should I get mac and cheese? French toast churro sticks on buttercream caramel dipping sauce? That sounds pretty good. Mm. Blue velvet lemon cookie witch with vanilla soft serve ice cream? Holy shit. Should I get two desserts or should I get like the... <clears throat> should I get the um, the brisket? But On says that the brisket is, is not good. What do you guys think? Mac and cheese is a ripoff. Macaroni noodles plus slice of cheese. Definitely don't get the brisket. You'll be very disappointed.